GOBI is the Genomic Open Source Breeding Informatics Initiative. Everything is in the name. There's a lot in the name. So we're all about breeding. We're focused on breeders and what breeders need. Uh, everything we do is open source, so you're welcome to take it home at the end of this week and try it out. Warning, it's still difficult to set up and use without a lot of training or assistance from us, but you're very welcome to do that. And we're all about managing genomics data, but not just genomics data, also any kind of genotyping data, any scale of genotype. Uh, it's a five-year project. It ends in 2020. We have extended extension for two years through the Excellence in Breeding program beyond that. But we are looking for new projects, new collaborations, um, new ways of working with people. So keep that in mind. So why was this project funded? Um, this was a Bill and Melinda Gates analysis of yield um, from 1961 to 2007, uh, showing yields for major crops in USA, China, India, and Africa. And while USA and China have kind of gone through the roof there, India, uh, not so much impressive yield increases, and Africa was um, practically neg negligible yield increase. Now, uh, Kelly talked a bit before about why that is. I mean, it's because they're using old varieties, but the hope is that by using genomic selection, it can be one of the tools in the breeder's toolbox to be able to start increasing those yields. But you can't do genomic selection without good data management. So that's where we come in. Uh, Kelly already gave our mission. It's to transform breeding um, using genomic marker-insisted selection as part of routine breeding programs. And again, routine does not just mean having a single experiment. What we're trying to do here is put together all of that complex logistics that needs to be able to happen to be able to implement genomic selection within a breeding cycle. So this is the components that we believe we need to focus on as part of this project. So we're here, we're doing the genotyping data management, and we're also doing some of the high throughput analysis tools and visualization tools. Um, the foundation of this is to have a good breeding management system. Uh, we need high throughput sampling and shipping systems, a good genotyping platform, and most of all, we need these APIs that Kelly was talking about to hold everything together. Now, if you're doing math, you can get away with Excel spreadsheets, but really when you move to genomic selection implementation, you need all of these tightly tied together and running as a well-oiled machine. So this is our community. Um, it's one of our advantages. We're not just based here at BTI and Cornell. Uh, we have Gobi employees at Simit who work on maize and wheat. At uh, IRI, who work on rice, and ICRASAT, who work on sorghum and chickpea. Then we also collaborate with a company called Diversity Arrays Technology in Australia and the James Hutton Institute in Scotland on tool development. So they've really helped us with our analysis and visualization tools. And we fit here. Um, maybe it wasn't obvious from Kelly's talk, but we. We're not actually funded by Module 5 of Excellence in Breeding, but we're under the umbrella with that same, you know. And in future, we will get funding through Excellence in Breeding. 